All right, so hey YouTube, today we're going to do the continuation of um, what happens when you don't change your motor oil. We, um, in the previous video, we cleaned the top half of the motor out here of this. We've got it all put back together and um, it runs. However, from taking all that oil and, and gook and stuff out of the intake, um, well, not the intake, off the top of the, the cylinder heads, um, as you saw in the last video, some of that small debris and grit has fallen down into the oil pan and I noticed one time when I started up the um, oil pressure light turned on. So as you can see, it starts up and runs fine. We'll check, see if that light comes on now. Well, no, it's not on yet, but it did come on. I did see it come on. But um, I'm going to show you a neat little trick that you can do to flush your motor out. And um, it's a little bit unconventional from, you know, what you would typically see people do. But this works great, especially on motors and cars that have really built up oil and things like that. Whenever you're doing this process, do not drive the car. You're simply going to pour this stuff in. You're going to let the car idle. You're going to keep an eye on it. Um, you know, if your oil light comes on or if it starts sounding funny, then of course you're going to turn it off and then you'll go proceed to the next step. Um, the chemical that we're going to use actually is uh, totally awesome. And if you've looked at my channel or anything, you've probably seen a lot of videos that I've used this product on. So um, um, give me just a second here and we'll flip this camera around and then we'll show you what we're going to do. This is really going to blow your mind. <laughs> All right. Okay, so as you can see, the oil light is on, and that's because all that grit and sediment, sediment that um, fell down into the oil passages is down, down into the bottom of the motor and the oil pan. The suction from the oil pump is actually pulled it up into the oil screen. So we're going to use this chemical to try to dissolve that and see if we can't take care of that issue with that oil light. All right, so they were out of stock of the big bottle, so I'm going to use the little bottle here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this bad boy up, like so. And um, if you look at the last video, you can see that, you know, the other where we clean that off. We'll take this. And we don't need to spray it. We don't need to dilute it. We're going to use it at 100%. I actually bought two of these smaller bottles. I'll do this probably twice or, you know. So, we're going to take this. And my aim is good. I'm going to pour it in the hole. There is motor oil in this car, so basically what you're going to have is a solution of uh, motor oil and, a, and, and this product here, okay? And you'll notice on here, it cleans everything, one wipe, and I think on there it says oil, and you've got the directions and stuff. Alright, so now we've got that in there. We'll put the top back on. We'll start it up, let it run for about five minutes. Next step after that, we'll drain the oil. We may repeat the process a couple times if it's still black and, and gooky. Um, but main thing, what is going to happen is that awesome is going to dissolve that oil and break it down. Um, mainly the, the thick, the thick uh, gritty pieces of it is going to break that down and allow it to flow out the oil pan. Um, <clears throat> everything goes right. I won't have to remove the oil pan because it'll dissolve everything and it'll all come out. But again, these are some of the chunks that came out and you see how just handling that like I'm getting a little bitty grit all on my hand just from handling that so we suck that stuff out with the vacuum cleaner but this little grit stuff is kind of hard to get out so that's why we're using the chemical to break that down so we'll start the vehicle up we'll just let her sit here and idle as it gets hot the chemical works actually I guess better seems like um, this whole process, I did one, it's going to depend on how bad the vehicle is. I did one vehicle, it took me um, probably about uh, six different flushes, which, you know, I did that over a period of six hours. But um, this one, we did a lot more vacuuming and stuff, so I don't think I'll have to do it as many times, but we'll show you the final result when we get to it. So now we have our chemical in there and we've got it running. We've had it running for a little bit. This is um, our first round of it. 
You notice how it's making that ticking sound? That's because, again, the oil pump is, the screen is getting clogged up with debris. So we're going to pull it into the shop, raise it up, drain the oil, and get a lot of that sludge and stuff out of there. And then we'll repeat the process a few more times. But again, with the chemical in there, like I said, it's going to dissolve and break down the oil. Okay. Hear that sound? Those are just the lifters being starved of oil because they're not getting as much oil pressure as they used to or as much as they require. Okay. You'll also notice that the car is idling the way it's supposed to be. It's not overheating. And the car does have the check um, engine oil light on. A uh, quick note there, <laughs> um, a lot of times people will see their car, it'll have that check engine oil light on and they'll ignore it. Don't ignore it, you know, pay some attention to it. It might just be a bad sensor or it might be a situation where your car's not getting enough oil. Again, when we finish this video, by the time we finish this video and have all the old oil drained out and the debris and stuff, this car won't be ticking like that. Okay, so we're going to raise the car up, change the oil. Again, you might have to repeat this process a couple times. Um, it's totally normal, especially if you have grit and stuff in here. Um, again, if you watched the previous video, then you've seen how bad this motor was with grit and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drain it out into this oil pan here. You'll notice that I have, um, like a, actually it's a trash can lid on top of my oil pan, but it gives me a larger surface area so that when the oil is draining out, I can observe what is coming in the oil, um, whether it be metal chunks or chunks of debris, whatever. So we'll move this oil pan over here. Oh, this is a 14 millimeter. Again, our patient today is. 2002 Nissan Quest. And again, this is after we run the chemical in there. Um, to um, Now, this will be really watery and runny because the oil's been thinned out. Let me raise this up because I don't want to make a mess today. Again, we started with fresh, clear oil, and you can already see the oil is dirty and grungy and black. Look at that. Look how black that is. See that color? See how fast that's running out? Alright. That's running out all the time. Chunks of stuff. Your big chunks usually come out in the end. <laughs> See those chunks of crap? And that's just the debris from the top of the motor that fell down through the um, oil drain hose into the bottom. But again, that right there is what was clogging up the oil pickup screen so that it couldn't uh, pump oil through the motor. So we're going to flush this again and uh, try to get the rest of that gook out of there. Okay, so now we're going to start our second uh, phase of this. We're going to use, I'm, well, I'm going to use one quart of this uh, Mobile One um, synthetic oil, and I'm going to use this big bottle of Awesome. And I know some of y'all are probably like, damn, why are you using Mobile One? 
Well, right now I'm the only one here at the shop, and I can't leave to go down there and buy a cheap bottle. Also, this is the only thing I got here, you know. So I'm just going to use that. You know, I've got other things to do other than waste my time running back and forth to the store, and I don't feel like waiting on them to deliver me some. So we're going to use that. We're going to use that. We're going to put it in here. We're going to start the car up and let it idle. We are not going to drive this vehicle again. We're going to let the engine idle and not drive the vehicle. Okay. This awesome is going to do a great job in dissolving those old bits and grains that I talked to you about earlier. Um, since it's kind of hard to open the caps of this stuff, I'm going to uh, pause this for a second to start pouring this in. Let's see if I can do this. But I wouldn't show that part. <laughs> we are actually pouring this in the motor of the car. I mean, if I tell you I poured oil in the car and and you're obviously going to believe that because yeah, the car needs oil. But to see this being poured in this car, I know a lot of you are probably like, wow, is he stupid or what? But trust me, follow my directions. This is really going to work out good for you. Like I said, just pour the bottle of that in there. Alright, see that? Get out of the way. I'll put the old cap, old cap. Put your old cap on. And again, we use one quart of oil to, this is approximately 64 ounces, uh, totally awesome. We'll start this car up and start the process again. And again, this is our second flush. The first flush I didn't quite use as much because I just wanted to kind of break it up. But this time we're going to go. See the oil lights off? See that? Because it's circulating right now. Okay, so we've cycled it through and now we're on our, um, I think this is like our third or fourth flush. Um, anyway, I think it's going to be the last one. I probably kept doing it because I just wanted to make sure, but I'm going to go ahead and drain this out. Then we're going to put the oil in it and see how she runs and see if we've cleared our problem. Again, i got a bucket down here to catch the oil and um, cleaner solution that I've made because I don't want to make a mess. All right, I'm going to try to do this. It's kind of hard to film and, and uh, this is so cool. Right. As you can see. Ugh. As you can see the color. So it's not nowhere near as black as it originally was. Right now you're seeing um, the fresh oil that we used mixed with the cleaner and the final, um, the cleaner and the oil. And uh, you see it's blowing out a lot smoother now. Before you'd have little chunks blowing out. The question is what's gonna come out at the end. Now that totally awesome, what it does is it dissolves the oil Okay. But at the same token, you don't want to just run it without oil because the oil, without oil, you need some type of lubrication in your car while it's running. So you mix it, the oil, some fresh oil with the totally awesome. And on the final step here, we're going to drain everything out. And notice there's no chunks coming out like there was before. Okay which is great, that's what you want. <laughs> After all that cleaning we did, I mean, that's what you want. Before, we remember when we first started this process, that was like totally black coming out of there. All right, still have a few chunks falling out, so I might flush it one more time just to, you know, kind of make sure I got everything out. I don't want to leave any chunks in there if I can help it. Now that we have our flush done with our chemicals, we're going to add in oil and we're going to add in, I like to add in uh, Marvelous Mystery Oil because it'll continue the effect of dissolving down the grit if there is any in there and also it'll help polish the um, internal, um, internal motor parts. This is some really good stuff. Um, I put one in a car one time and uh, let it run for you know 3,000 miles and then I um, changed the oil and I noticed that the oil drain plug itself was 
a lot slicker to the touch as opposed to what it normally felt like so I've used this product on some other videos I've done it's, it's done pretty good it, it, it's not a miracle cure-all in a bottle but it is excellent at removing gunk and things like that if you want to know more about it get your bottle read the label so we'll do one quart of that and we'll do four quarts of oil this time um, you know so clear the oil is now now that we got all that black gooky stuff out of there we should have a motor that's a lot more powerful, a lot more efficient. It'll run cooler. It'll last longer. I mean, the benefits to what I just did to this engine are, are, <laughs> are, um, are a lot, actually. Can't think of the word I want to say, but that should be about four quarts. Remember, you only want to do four quarts because you used a quart of Marvelous Mystery Oil. Okay, so now that should be five quarts of oil. We'll start it up. We'll see if our check engine, our check engine light, our oil pressure light is off. And on there, start this bad boy up. and help uh, connect the battery back. I took the battery loose because I didn't want to had the doors open. I didn't want to kill the battery and have to recharge it up. So there's that famous oil light there. We start it up it should go out. As you see, it has went out. All right, so now we're getting oil circulation through the motor. I'll find out later on what that uh, service engine soon light is. But for right now, this portion of the fix is done. Um, you'll notice the motor sounds a lot better. You don't hear that ticking. You don't have the ticking, and of course, you don't have the oil pressure light. Um, if it was going to come on, it would pretty much came on when it were at idle. You don't really pull that much. It would have came on then. But um, uh, you see, we revved it up. No light. We let it sit in idle. No light. So if you have this issue, you pull your valve cover and you see your motor's all gunked up and dirty and you don't want to take the oil pan off, you use this little method and um, it takes a little time. It's not a you know one time do it. You might have to flush it three or four times, but eventually. Once you get it all fleshed out, um, your car will be back to running a lot better without the oil gunk buildup. Till next time, YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, post, subscribe. Thanks. Share this with your friends. Have a great day. Okay, so let's start our vehicle up today. Yesterday, I scanned it and found out that the um, uh, the other light, the service engine light, was on because of uh, um spark plug wire that wasn't fully seated so we got that issue resolved but again we're going to check on this oil issue start her up and uh, let her idle here and as you can see we have no lights seatbelt light So, as you can see, the chemical work, we didn't have to remove the oil pan. Um, we now have a vehicle that has a much better lubrication inside the motor. Uh, if you want to see what that looked like prior to us performing this, uh, check out the other video. Um, I think it's uh, titled, What Happens If You Never Change Your Motor Oil? 
So um, take a good look at that and then you'll have a better understanding of why I did this video. But um, <clears throat> I hope this helps you all out there in the YouTube world. Until next time, um, keep watching, subscribe, post comments, um, and have a great day. Beautiful purr, beautiful purr. Again, one last check after the car has warmed up and it's been idling. Um, I've had it idling for about an hour now, and as you can see, still no check engine light and still no oil pressure light. All right, so for those of you that um, <laughs> that uh, like that, go ahead and try it out and get your car motor internally cleaned out. All right, until next time, YouTube. Have a great day.